Joseph Pratt will have his first opportunity now as it comes with the bases empty here in the top of the first. Now the first pitch. And he takes ball one. EK, we take a look at the home nine as they take the field here tonight. Now they've been playing some pretty good baseball. Five and two over their last seven. That last win gets them a step closer to the 500 mark. They can actually reach 500 if they can pull this one out. The 1-1. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. The 1-2. And this is hit hard on the ground at first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Tommy Colon will dig in. Drew a walk his first time around. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. And here's the ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. Catch is made deep in the alley, and here comes the runner from third. And he'll make it into score. It's a sack fly and an RBI, and it's now a 3-0 ball game. And the key here was just to get an out. Yeah, you gave up a run, but now he's maybe a pitch away from getting a double play ball and getting out of the inning. Harry Paniagua will dig in. He drove in a run with the sacrifice fly his first time. He's set. Now the pitch. Now the 0-1 is swung on and lifted out to straightaway center field. Pratt is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. On now to the top of inning number four. The Redbirds lead it three to nothing. Joseph Pratt will stand in. He grounded out his first time. First offering on the way. Driven nicely into the gap, and it's going to get down and should be extra bases. And they're on the board as this is now a 3-1 ball game. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. Well, he'd been doing a really good job of working corner to corner, but this is one of the first pitches we've seen that kind of found the middle of the plate. And it's going to cost him a run, as this will wind up being an RBI double. Delman Monahan will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Now here's the first pitch. In on the hands a bit with the fastball. It's 1-0. Oh. The 1-0 -oh pitch. 2-0 and oh now. Oh, with every pitch it misses, he just keeps digging himself in deeper and deeper hole. 2 0 -oh count, the pitch. 3 and 0 oh now. Green light here on 3 and 0. Oh. Yeah, I want my run producer swinging the bat. It's my number seven hitter, probably not. Comes set, now the pitch. And he'll just lay this one in there, 3 and 1. Well, as we've seen so far, this isn't a team that's going to wait around too long to feel a pitcher out. They're an aggressive team all the way from top to bottom. And if that first pitch is anywhere close, most of these guys are going to take a hack at it. Here's the 3-2 pitch. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. The next 3-2. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. Another full count pitch home. Swing and a ball pretty well hit out towards left center. Burris 
A range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. That's a heads-up play there at second base. He sees that left fielder has to move all the way into the alley to catch this thing, so he knows he'll have a hard time readjusting his body to make the throw to third, and he's able to move up 90 feet on the flyout. Fouled straight back. He's ready now. The pitch, off-speed pitch, and this one runs in and nearly gets him here. Any thought to bring in the infield in here with one away? Still a little early in my book. Uh, a run you can live with. What you don't want to do is let this snowball into the big end. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Well, this is going to get him a run closer. A simple ground ball here plates the runner from third, and we're back now to a one-run game. Joseph Pratt will dig in. He doubled home a run last time around. Here's the first offering. Oh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. And that one is out of here. Planted into the right field bleachers. A solo shot here to straightaway right field as it's now a three-all ball game. Wow, that inning didn't really look like it was going anywhere, but if the first two guys don't get on in front of them, that's when they're swinging for the trees. When guys are on in front of them, they shorten down and try to go for the base hit, but a big solo shot right there with two outs. Dave Wyatt will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. Here comes a 1-2. Hit hard to the right side, but right to him out at second. And that's allowed out number one. And if this ball's hit maybe just a little bit harder, he might have a shot at doubling a man off. But since it's hit so softly, he's only going to wind up getting one out. Dan Souza will stand in now. 0 for 2 with a hit by pitch so far. Here comes a 2-2. And this is lifted out towards straightaway center field. Pratt is there now, and he has it, two gone. Joseph Pratt will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here, a solo home run that was really one of the key at-bats of the ballgame to this point. Now the first pitch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Now he's gonna have to punch his way off the ropes now. Here's the one oh. That hole getting a little deeper now. It's two and oh. Eric, what are you looking for here? It's a fastball count, but doesn't always play by the rules out there, so this could very well be a slider or something away. So in other words, I have no idea. Meanwhile now, this is a drive out to straightaway right field, and it's going to get out of here. A home run. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. His second home run of the game, as it's now a six-run ball game. When you give up a clutch homer like that this late in the game that gives the other team a lead, you know you're kicking yourself a little bit. And how are you going to refocus now and get back into this game? Xavier Scruggs will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Now here it comes. 
Here's a bouncing ball now up the middle, and it's going to sneak its way into center field for a one-out base hit. Well, he needed a hit like this. Got to get him to snap out of this cold streak. I mean, you're just looking for something to go your way. And that ball, it's not hit particularly well, but it happens to find a hole. He's saying, man, it's about time. Now, here's the first pitch. Sinker runs outside to start the at bat, 1 0. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. Bases are loaded here, two down. Here's a 1 0. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Ready now on 1 and 1. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. And that's through into right field for a base hit. One run scores. And the second run will score as well. And he'll make it back to first as the throw won't get him. Boy, two more RBIs there. Makes it seven for him on the night. He's definitely had the hot hand all game long. Delman Monahan. We'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home here in the inning so far. First pitch coming. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. And this is a guy that needs to throw that curveball for strikes. Yeah, when he doesn't have command on it, that's when he has to lean on his fastball. And sometimes that'll get him in trouble. Here's a fly ball now lifted in the air out to right. Wyatt is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So two runs on two base hits, one error, and two left. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Sky Sox lead this thing 12 to 4. Todd Kasizak will try and get his club back into it here as he'll pinch hit to lead off the home half of the eighth. Ray Pryor will try again. Two for four in the ballgame. From the belt, the pitch. Here's a ball swung on and lofted in the air out toward right center. Schaefer is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Well, the bats were certainly working in this one, but out of everybody, I'd say this man most deserves to be our top player of the game. Yeah, I think in the end, this really could have been anybody's award, but what the heck? Let's go ahead and give it to this guy. He's as deserving as anybody. So that just about does it. For EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to theshownation.com. The Sky Sox come out on top 12-7. Good night, everybody.